more than three weeks since a plane crashed into Lake Erie, and now we're getting a better idea about how it all happened. News 5's James Girardi has been following the story since it broke. He's live now with the latest developments on this story. James? Danita, the NTSB released their initial findings today, but it is still unclear whether it was pilot error or a technical glitch that sent this plane into Lake Erie, killing the six people on board. The Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner releasing today the identities of the three bodies that were discovered during the search for the missing Cessna 525 found was pilot. 46-year-old John T. Fleming and his son, 15-year-old Jack Fleming. Also, their neighbor and friend, 50-year-old Brian Casey. Still missing, Fleming's wife, 46-year-old Sue Fleming, the couple's 14-year-old son, Andrew Fleming, and daughter of Brian Casey, 19-year-old Megan. In an initial report released by the NTSB, we've learned Fleming was certified to fly the Cessna jet just three weeks before the deadly crash. The report details directions given to Fleming on December 29th from air traffic control to reach 2,000 feet soon after takeoff. But the investigation revealed Fleming was at nearly 3,000 feet, and just five seconds after reaching that altitude, the report says the plane began a rapid descent. The Coast Guard, Cleveland City search crews, and professional dive teams scoured the bottom of Lake Erie and wound up finding major portions of the plane. But with three still missing, that search was ultimately called off. And the NTSB has said they will continue their investigation by piecing together pieces of this plane that continue to be found looking for any technical glitch on the plane itself that may have existed. Live from Burke Lakefront Airport, I'm James Girardi, News 5.